What is going on, Yankee fans? It is New York Sports Up here, and I am back with another New York Yankees post-series recap. And the Yankees just keep on rolling as they sweep the Minnesota Twins with quotation marks in the three-game set. We got one more game coming on September the 13th because yesterday's game got rained out. So I'm going to call it a three-game series because I don't want to make a video on just one game. But let's just let's just pretend this it was a three-game set. A three-game set against the Twins in which the Yankees won all three games this weekend. Great, great series for the Yankees. Just a... A very well-pitched series, and they did what they had to do against a very bad Twins team, you know, and they just continued their dominance over this franchise as a whole. It's, it's just it's, it's just sad how little the Twins beat the Yankees. I mean, in the playoffs, in the regular season, they just never beat the Yankees. The Yankees have the Twins number. They've always, they always have, and they continue to beat them up, and they did, in, you know, and they did this weekend. They, play, they had a great series. Um, as for the pitching, you know, game one, Jamison Tyone, uh, fell apart late in the game, gave up that home run to Jake Cave, then the two-run double to Polanco, but he still pitched well as a whole, five and a third. Uh, I think it was, what, three runs. Um, you know, had strikeouts. I don't know how many strikeouts he had, but he had a decent amount of strikeouts, and he only gave up one hit through five innings. He was great. He was dynamite through five, and then the sixth inning he kind of fell apart. But still, as a whole, Tyone pitched well. Then game two, Nestor Cortez was brilliant through seven innings, and uh, the Mario Brothers Nestor Cortez shirt. I got to buy that shirt. You know, the Nestor Cortez you know, his face photoshopped on Mario. I thought that was awesome. Uh, he pitched really well, seven innings, two runs. Uh, he did a really good job in that game. The offense in game one, which I forgot to mention, uh, Kyle Lagashioka had a big game in that one. He had, what, two hits, three RBIs at the two-run shot on the left field line, had the double. Luke Voigt continues to stay hot, had that two-run double. That was one of his, own, you know, one of his many big hits he had in this series. Luke Voigt had a two-run double in that. I think it was the third inning. Um, and, of course, Higgy with the RBI double. Velasquez led off the inning with a triple, which was great to see. He continues to hit the ball well for the Yankees. I'm very happy for him, you know, because he was a guy who grew up a Yankee fan, and he just continues to match for the Yankees. He's been really, really good in replacement of Labor Torres. He had the triple. Higgy hit the double, made it one nothing. then Voight with the two-run double to make it a 4 nothing game, and then um, or to make it a 3 nothing game, and then Rizzo followed up with a sack fly, made it 4 to nothing. So a big inning for the Yankees there. They scored four runs, and then Higgy hit the two-run shot in the bottom of the fifth, made it 6 nothing. Tyone fell apart a little bit. Yankees got the insurance run in the eighth on the Stanton solo shot that like hit a kid in the face, which was scary. Good thing he was okay, but he did it a home run to right field. It was a short porch. It was probably like 330 feet. It was not hit that you know, it wasn't hit that far, but it still went over the fence. A solo shot for Stanton made it a 7-4 to game, and then Green gave up the home run in the ninth because, of course, he did, but he still got the save, and the Yankees won the game 7-5. to So a good job by Tyone. Fell apart late, but still did a good job, and the offense did its thing yet again. You know, John Gann on the mound, he's not a great pitcher. You got to do what you have to do against that guy, and they did. They scored four runs in one inning. They smacked around their bullpen. They scored three more runs off them, and they won the game 7-5. to So a good job by the Yankees, the MVP of that game. It's got to be Kyle Gashioka. Big game for him. You know, when your bottom of the order is producing like they did in that game, I get it to the Twins, and they're a terrible team, but when your bottom of the order is producing, that's always a great thing. As for Game 2, like I said, Nestor Cortez Jr. was fa fantastic in that game. He was awesome. He went seven innings, two runs, had a lot of strikeouts. He was great. I don't know the let me Let me look at the amount of strikeouts he had. He had a lot. He had a lot in that game. He was painting. Um, let me just pull it up right here. Uh, we won the game 10-2. And um, he had seven strikeouts. That's a guy. This is a guy who doesn't throw very hard, and you know he, but he can trick hitters, man. Like the way you know his wind up, you know he doesn't really throw that hard. He's kind of a soft tosser, but it can fool hitters, and that's what it did. It, it, he completely fooled the Twins. He had seven strikeouts, gave up seven runs, just four hits. Um, not seven runs. He went seven innings. There we go. Gave up four hits and uh, two runs. He was great. He was great in that game. Um, what else, man? The offense was awesome. Luke Foyt. Four hits for Voight. Had a home run, had a, another two-run double in the first inning. And, uh, I mean, Voight was just awesome in this series. Had the two-run single in the first. Then Velasquez walked. Gardner had an RBI single. He went two for two in the game. So, good. two for two in the game. There we go. Uh, so, good game for Gardner. Bottom of the second, Judge had a two-run shot. Made it 6 nothing. That's his 27th of the year. Great job by Judge make it, to make it a 6 nothing game. And they, they just smacked around this Charlie Barnes kid. They did a great job in this game. Bottom of the fourth, another RBI for Voight. A ground rule double made it 7 to nothing. And then uh, Luke Voigt with a homer in the bottom of the seventh and then did the, uh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin celebration dugout, which was awesome. Um, just a huge game for Luke Voigt, man. I mean, Luke Voigt is proving he deserves to stay up, stay with his team through the, in, in the future. He deserves to be on this team because he is a damn good ball player. Now, I gave up on Luke Voigt. I'll admit, I gave up on Luke, and he has proved me wrong. He has been great for this team. He's been one of the hottest hitters in baseball. He's a man on a mission right now. It's been 
fun to watch. It's been really fun to watch. And it's always good to see Nestor Cortez show. Nasty Nestor, baby. He was great in that game. And the Yankees won the game 10-2. to two. Offense went off. Luke Foyt was the main reason for it. As for game three, another laid back, easy win. 7-1 to was the final score. They won their ninth straight game. Um, they, they're just, they just continue to have fun playing baseball, man. Bottom of the second, Wade hit an RBI single. Tyler Wade continues to hit the ball well, which I can't believe I'm saying. Garrett Cole, I mean, just awesome. Six innings, second start off COVID. He was great. Six innings, what, no runs, probably like four or five hits. Had struck out a lot of guys. Had that bases loaded, one out jam in the fifth. Got out of it, struck out Polanco. And then it's always good to see him strike out Donaldson after he you know, complained about him using sticky stuff. Well, Garrett Cole without sticky stuff, he's pitching pretty well, isn't he, Josh? But it's good to see Garrett Cole strike out him. And then, you know, he, he just pitched a gem in that game. Six innings, no runs. I think it was, what? Five hits, four hits. He didn't give up a lot. Uh, let me look at his final line here. He went, yeah, six innings, no runs, five hits, one walk, six Ks. He was great. Uh, Litke even pitched well in that game. Albert Abreu had a clean ninth inning. Uh, Tyler Wade in an RBI single. Stanton with a two-run double to really break it open. And then Luke Voigt continues to mash, had the two-run double. That was, I think he had, I think he's had like 11 RBIs in his last four or five games. It's been really fun to watch. He's been on fire. He hit another two-run double, made it a 6 nothing game. All three games in this series had the Yankees had a six nothing lead at some point, which it, which should, which should happen when you're facing a garbage team like the Twins. So the Yankees just continued to to tear apart the baseball, made it a six nothing game. Top of the eighth, Polanco to solo shot, made it six to one. And then in the bottom of the eighth inning, with his family in attendance, Squid Andrew Velasquez. Why he's called Squid, I don't know, but that's his nickname on Instagram. Andrew Velasquez hit a solo shot, his first big league homer, and his first homer as a Yankee made it a seven to one game. It's good to see Velasquez get his first career homer, and you saw his face when he when he was running on the base when he was running around the bases, he was he was pumped. He was pumped to finally get his first career homer, and no better team to do it with his you know his childhood favorite you know, his favorite team as a child growing up. The New York Yankees hit a, hit his first career homer, made it a seven to one game, and that was the game. Uh, offense did did a good job yet again. They got to Kenta Maeda. They you know, they got him out of the game, and they just smacked around their bullpen, which you have to do when you're facing the Twins. And the pitching, Garrett Cole, man, just awesome. Just a fantastic performance by Garrett. Great job by him. Bullpen did a good job as well. And the Yankees got a nice, easy win, 7-1. to They swept away the Twins and have now won nine straight ball games. Now, that winning streak is going to come to an end pretty soon because I don't expect the Yankees to sweep the Atlanta Braves. The Braves are a very good team. They're red hot right now. They've also won nine straight games. They are on fire right now. When we play Atlanta starting tomorrow, I want at least a split. I'm not expecting a, a sweep. It would be nice to get one, but it's probably not going to happen. Just get, just win one game, split with Atlanta, and then win that series against Oakland. You know, that's all you got to do. You're playing a red hot Braves team. The pitching matchups are not in your favor. Just win one of those games, and that that's a W in my opinion. So, that is going to do it for this video. I'm sorry I had to cut the video a little short, but uh, it's late. I got to get to school in the morning, so you know, I I, I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want to stay up too late. I want to get this video up and uh, you know, go to bed. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys pretty soon for the Yankees and Braves post-series recap. It's a two-game series, so it'll be coming out on um, after Tuesday. You know, after Tuesday, Tuesday night, that, that video will be coming out. I'll be recapping the Yankees and Braves series. Let's hope we can get at least one win in the mini two-game series against the Braves in Atlanta. So yeah, and also, forgot to mention, Giants video. I'm making a Giants video tomorrow night. I'm going to talk about the Giants and Browns game. I'll also talk about the Giants and Jets game. I'm going to talk about both games in one video because um you know we haven't really seen the starters play we've seen some of the defensive players play like logan ryan we, we haven't seen logan ryan but we've seen like julian love play a little bit of darnay holmes o'shane Zimenez has played you know darius slayton played in a little bit in week one but we haven't really seen most of the starters so i'm just going to talk about both uh both games week one and week two in tomorrow's in tomorrow's giants video so make sure to stay tuned for that if you're a giants fan but as for the yankees uh, my next video for the Yankees is coming out on Tuesday as I recap the Yankees and Braves series. Please stay tuned for that, all right, guys? So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed I'll talk to you guys Tuesday night for the Yankees and Braves series recap and tomorrow for the Giants video. Peace, go Yankees, and go Giants.